everyone, my name is Charles Ringstaff, and what we are going to do is show you basically our coil gun. So we were given the task by Dr. Tavares to come up with a coil gun, which consists of several electronic components, and we are going to fire a BB from our coil gun using only those components. So what we have here is basically what remains of a camera circuit board. Um, this consists of the leads, as you can see here, uh, for a battery, has a component to convert the direct current into alternating current. It essentially puts that current through two transformers, converts it back into direct current using a series of diodes, and charges this capacitor. Now, what happens on a capacitor is that this is a device that stores electric charge. So what I can do is demonstrate right now how that works by putting a battery on the leads and charging up the capacitor. Ooh, little slippage there. Now I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up, but right now you're hearing a hum or a kind of a whistle coming from the capacitors, uh, the capacitor. Um, that is the sound of electricity, as far as I can tell, building up on the uh, each side of the capacitor. Now, what I'm about to do is probably going to make me jump because I'm timid. Um, I'm about to take a piece of graphite and discharge the uh, discharge the electricity on the capacitors. It makes quite a bit of noise and a shock, and I hope no one thinks less of me. But here we go. Oh, I actually shocked myself. So, oh, did it again. There we go. All right. So. That is essentially the current we are going to run through this device, which is called a solenoid. Now, how we wound this solenoid was we took a pin tube and we drilled straight through it. I can see you, I don't know if you can see me, um, to make two holes in the pin tube. Um, then we essentially, this isn't a nail, but I took a nail and put through each, there we go, each hole and made a post. Now with that post I could make a guide by which I could wind my solenoid back to forth, forward and back. Now what that does is it creates um, a continuous wire which is almost like an enclosed loop for the purposes of this project. Um, and when you run current through that, by passing that current it generates a magnetic field parallel to the current. So it generates a current doesn't generate a current, it generates a magnetic field that in a direction uh, according to the current. And that is how we get the, the, the mag, that's how we get the, the magnetic field to pull on the ball bearing or BB um, and cause it to propel forward into space. efficiency of our launcher, we first had to find the kinetic energy of the BB that we launched. To do that, we had to use one half mv squared. We found the mass of the BB we launched to be 0.00349 kilograms. We then used the equations that we first learned in our first physics class in the fall semester. When we plugged that in, we found our initial velocity to be 1.69 meters per second. And when we plugged all that into our one-half mv squared equation, we got a kinetic energy number to be 4.984 times 10 to the negative fourth joules. The next step in uh, calculating our efficiency is to calculate the uh, internal energy that's stored inside this capacitor. And to do that, we have three different expressions for the internal energy. Uh, we have one-half times the capacitance times the voltage squared, uh, the charge squared over two times the capacitance and one half times the charge times the voltage. Since it's kind of difficult to, uh, to uh, measure charge, we decided to go with the one half capacitance voltage squared expression. Um, so here you can see that our capacitance is 105 microfarads and our voltage is 310 volts for this circuit. Um, and so plugging that back into this expression, we get that U is one half 
um, times 105 times something negative 6 farads times 310 volts squared, or our internal energy is 5.05. Joules. Now it's worth noting that. Okay, it's. In conclusion, Charles doesn't practice very good safety skills with electronic components. Aaron is apparently a corrupted river folk from Middle Earth. Tim is violent with his friends behind closed doors. And Leah is probably questioning why she joined this group. In all seriousness, however, we were tasked with making a coil gun, which we accomplished relatively well. We made one shot with one capacitor, which shot 0.27 meters, and on three capacitors, shot several miles. On the one capacitor array, we discovered that our efficiency was 0.1%. And that basically sums up our presentation. Thank you for watching.